This flight attendant kicked the black cop off the plane over a minor issue, but what happened next made her regret it immediately. As Officer Jeremy Paybill made his way down the cramped aisle of the plane in search of his designated seat, he met a shocking surprise. A young man engrossed in a newspaper had already occupied his seat. Confused by the arrangements, the 31-year-old officer politely informed the man that he was in his assigned seat, urging him to excuse him. The young man, however, did not budge, only explaining that the seat was arranged for him. Taken aback, Officer Paybill double-checked the seat number on his boarding pass and confirmed that it matched the one on the seats back before him. So he tried to reason with the man once again, but before he could receive his answer, a firm yet calm voice intervened. Sir, please take your seat. We're about to take off. Officer Paybill turned around to face the flight attendant who had just spoken. She was dressed as elegantly as the rest of the crew. However, her face was devoid of the usual friendliness most air hostesses were known to possess. The woman, who had Catherine G. spelled out on her name tag, looked slightly annoyed, opting to flash Officer Paybill an irritable look instead of a brilliant smile. Officer Paybill felt a hint of surprise by Catherine's cold exterior, but ignored it, diving straight into the matter at hand. I think there's a mix-up here, miss. This young gentleman is in my designated seat, he said, his tone calm and polite. Immediately, the young flight attendant peered at Officer Paybill with dull, uninterested eyes before stating something utterly jaw-dropping. Rather than attempting to resolve the issue by cross-checking the seat number on either gentleman's boarding passes, Catherine abruptly informed the officer that all the seats in economy class were fully booked. This dismissal shocked Officer Paybill beyond measure, making him struggle to comprehend the situation. He had only checked in one hour ago, and no one had told him anything about any overbooking. There must be a mistake, he thought. Regaining his composure, he pressed for a solution to his problem. Uninterested in dragging the awful conversation any further, Officer Paybill awaited Catherine's response earnestly, never suspecting the next words that would tumble out of her mouth. I'm sorry, but I might have to ask you to disembark the plane at once, sir. We're about to take off, Catherine declared, her tone leaving no room for argument. Officer Paybill's eyes widened in disbelief as he tried to process the flight attendant's sudden request. How could he possibly leave, especially when the plane was on the verge of departure? Officer Paybill struggled to make sense of the situation. With his patience on thin ice, the officer inched towards the young woman, intending to inquire about what she meant. However, before he could pose this question, the flight attendant pressed on, unwavering and without a sense of remorse. Please, sir, I need to ensure the comfort and satisfaction of all the passengers, and you're getting in the way of that. I believe there was a mix-up with your ticket, and you can only fix that off this plane. Catherine's words were laced with finality, and an underlying sass that made Officer Paybill wonder if he had ever had a run-in with her in the past. The black cop couldn't believe this was happening to him, especially when he had just endured a long, grueling month. He was expected to submit one final report in Florida, where he was headed, after which he would be entitled to a three-week break. Therefore, boarding this plane was of the utmost importance to him. It was his only ticket to freedom from the stress and chaos that had consumed him for weeks. The thought of being denied boarding and missing the deadline for his report was unbearable to the young officer. He was on edge at this point, yet he maintained his composure. In a gentle, harsh whisper, he spoke to Catherine, hoping to make a compromise. Look, I can't afford to miss this flight. Can we please find a solution that doesn't entail me disembarking? He went further to explain in a similar calm fashion that he understood there was protocol to follow, but would be more than happy to solve the problem amicably. Unfortunately, his gentle and soft-natured behavior did not appeal to Catherine, who continued to gaze back at him with an unsympathetic expression. By this point, Officer Paybill was thoroughly irritated by the flight attendant's woeful attitude. While he could understand if she was acting up due to a bad day, the young officer knew it was no excuse for her sour behavior. Having had enough of Catherine's uncooperative attitude, Officer Paybill motioned to beckon another flight attendant for assistance, but was cut short when he caught a startling sight. Catherine, 
who had been treating him so coldly, suddenly flashed a radiant smile at a nearby passenger who inquired about the reason for the delay. She gently and calmly placated them, leaving Officer Paybill bewildered. He stared at her as if she were a completely different person, struggling to comprehend the unexpected switch in her character. However, while this bizarre behavior did leave him speechless, what followed next left him utterly shocked. The warm smile on Catherine's face vanished as quickly as it appeared and was replaced by the same icy stare the minute her eyes met Officer Paybills. Ironically, the young officer had encountered those cold, indifferent stares before. He had received them from superiors, his colleagues, and even random strangers. In all these instances, only one factor contributed to such treatments, his skin color. Officer Paybill grew up in the tough neighborhoods of Brooklyn, where racial tensions and biases were a regular occurrence. Despite the numerous odds mounted against him, Officer Paybill managed to scale through to become a cop today. Now, as he stood on the plane, he realized that the same biases he had faced throughout his life were still very much present. Yet, irrespective of this, the officer chose to give the young lady the benefit of the doubt. He hoped that his perception of her behavior was merely a result of him being sensitive and not that Catherine actually possessed such racial prejudices. With that in mind, Officer Paybill decided to approach the situation with a level head. Instead of prolonging the issue any further, he asked Catherine for an upgrade, reasoning that he could stay in business class if economy class were full. Then, once more for effect, he added that he was a cop on official business, urging that she let him remain on the plane for his flight. However, without so much as a single check, Catherine turned down Officer Paybill's request, stating that it was impossible as all the rooms were fully booked. Yet, out of the corner of his eye, the young officer saw another flight attendant urge a fellow passenger to move to business class, implying that Catherine had intentionally dismissed him without making prior inquiries. Then, in one more display of disregard for him or his status, the mean flight attendant asked for his badge, going as far as looking at it with an unimpressed expression after the officer showed her. Just then, something unexpected happened once again. A young lady rose to her feet, calling the flight attendant to order. Apparently, she had been watching the scene and was upset by Catherine's persistent cold attitude towards Officer Paybill, who had been entirely calm and polite the entire time. Catherine explained that she was acting according to protocol and hushed the woman with a dazzling smile, urging her to strap up as the plane was about to take flight. Then she beckoned Officer Paybill to follow her to the crew station for a brief discussion. The officer believed she had done so to avoid the onlookers who were starting to get irritated by the delayed takeoff and her improper etiquette. When they were out of earshot, Catherine revealed that she was the head of the flight attendants, implying that no authority above her could change her mind. Now that she was away from the other passengers, the air hostess had zero regard for her composure. Her seemingly cold gaze melted into a scornful look, catching Officer Paybill off guard. The officer's mouth hung in disbelief as he stared at the young woman, confused by the sudden show of contempt. Officer Paybill asked Catherine if he had ever done her wrong in the past. Immediately, a sneer formed on the young woman's face. Instead of offering an answer, she huffed in annoyance before asking him to leave the plane and book the next flight. Seeing that an argument was a lost cause at this point, Officer Paybill opted to do as she demanded. The decision weighed heavily on him, but he understood it was the only thing he could do. As Officer Paybill left the plane, Catherine watched on with a pang of satisfaction, unaware that his departure would lead to severe consequences for her in a few minutes. About 20 minutes after takeoff, a member of the flight crew approached Catherine with news that made her huff in annoyance. The person informed her of a major dispute that had broken out on the plane. Quickly, she ran over to economy class, where the noise was emerging from, only to receive the shock of her life. Two people were arguing over an issue. Catherine soon realized that her earlier encounter with the officer had sparked an unusual debate on the morals of the flight attendants on the plane. This debate soon became heated before it became a full-blown argument. From where she stood, the perplexed flight attendant spotted the young woman who had stood up for the officer earlier. 
She was not a woman of color like Officer Paybill, yet she felt strongly about the situation, stating that she would take the crew's racist behavior up with the airport management. Then, on the other hand, a faction of people retorted at the young woman, arguing that Catherine had done everything by the book. The atmosphere was tense, with the woman raising her voice and the other gentlemen replying with harsh comebacks. Soon after, the deck became noisy as passengers who were upset by the banter began murmuring in anger. Catherine found the entire situation disturbing, especially because it could make her job hang on a thread. After much persuasion, she managed to calm the rowdy deck, ensuring that they continued on their journey in peace and tranquility. For a second, she began to regret ever having that encounter with Officer Paybill, not because she felt remorseful for telling him to leave the plane, but because she handled the situation before many onlookers. When the plane eventually landed in Florida, Catherine and the rest of the flight crew finally disembarked, ready to retire to their homes to rest. But unbeknownst to the head of the flight attendants, there was a rather peculiar business awaiting her. Airport officials informed Catherine of an urgent summoning, stating that she had to report before disciplinary as soon as possible. It appeared news of the earlier misconduct had gotten through to airport authorities, and the occurrence she had dreaded so much was now unfolding. The young stewardess faced the panel and answered a series of questions regarding her conduct on the airplane before takeoff. She confidently explained that she had provided excellent service that morning and downplayed her role in the subsequent arguments that ensued, stating that they had been instigated by passengers who held conflicting moral views. As she smoothly weaved through the interview, she felt assured that things were going in her favor. But just as the interview was concluding, an official revealed a key witness in her case, throwing her off guard. From then on, the next turn of events left Catherine stunned as she never saw them coming. The flight attendant was told that this mysterious person was not just the witness, but also an important member of the bench. Immediately, Catherine's body became cold and apprehensive her mind racing as she wondered who they could be. In a few minutes, she would finally get her answer, but in the most bizarre way possible. A tablet was placed on the table, and Catherine saw a familiar face on its small screen. It was Officer Pabel. Immediately, the realization hit her with a magnifying force as she became aware of the kind of trouble she had landed herself into. Her mind raced as she grasped the severity of the case and the possible consequences that awaited her. Through this big reveal, Catherine discovered that Officer Paybill was not only a police officer, but also a high-ranking official in the airline security division. As part of his final assignment, he was tasked with assessing the crew's performance and reporting to the airline authorities in Florida. However, Catherine's actions had hindered this very mission, rendering the entire exercise useless. Officer Paybill postponed the scheduled assessment for another trip, but later realized that the flight attendant's behavior already served as useful information in itself. Tears welled up in Catherine's eyes as her body shook in fear, understanding her predicament fully. When given a chance to defend herself, the poor flight attendant offered nothing but incoherent stutters, an indication that she was too flustered to speak. But soon after, she collected herself and offered a short story in an attempt to save herself. Catherine confessed that she did harbor a bias against Officer Paybill, but claimed that it was not rooted in racism as they thought. Instead, she explained that she once had an encounter with a black officer that left a lasting impression on her. She stated that in this incident, the cop mistook her for a culprit he was chasing and placed handcuffs on her in a very hurtful manner. The experience left a sour taste in her mouth, consequently causing her to despise black cops. Officer Paybill listened attentively to her story, trying to understand from her perspective. He was not entirely convinced, choosing instead to view the story as a desperate attempt to save her job. The officer remembered the scornful expression Catherine solely directed at him, and her deliberate disregard for his status as a passenger and officer. All these instances did not hint at a traumatized person, but one who held certain prejudices. Nevertheless, Officer Paybill sympathized with her experience. The young flight attendant was hurt emotionally and mentally from a previous ordeal. But while he bought her story, he firmly believed it could not excuse her discriminatory behavior. 
The officer explained to Catherine that as a flight attendant, she would inevitably interact with people of diverse races and colors. With that factor in her job description, it was important for her to put aside personal biases to treat everyone with professionalism and respect. Catherine paid attention to the officer's advice. Instantly, she was filled with regret for her attitude towards him that morning. One bad incident had clouded her mannerisms and sense of judgment. Through this disciplinary action, she realized her mistakes and her lack of foresight. Following the interview, Catherine was demoted and suspended for a stipulated period. News of her misconduct spread quickly across the airline. Before the month ran out, a covert committee was established to oversee the behavior of flight attendants and crew, especially on the basis of gender and racial treatment. Furthermore, certain reforms were made in the airline's employment and human relations structures to ensure Officer Paybill's case never repeated itself. Catherine's story served as a lesson to many other flight attendants. It warned that irrespective of personal differences and biases, their duties as air hostesses came first. All it took was one assessment to deliver this crucial message and inevitably spark a change in the airline industry across the country. What an incredible story. What would you have done in Officer Paybill's shoes? Did he handle the situation well? Leave your answer in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.